somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. A hearty welcome to all the igniting minds into the world of realism. Myself, Dr. Vanilla, Department of Physics, Coimbatore Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. The topic of presentation is Synthesis of Zinc Oxide Nanoparticles by Solgel Method. The overview of the presentation, Introduction to Nanomaterials, Preparation Techniques, Solgel Method, Advantages, Applications and Conclusion. Let us look into the nanomaterials. What are nanoparticles? The particle of size between 1 to 100 nanometer are called nanoparticles. Now, we focus on the sizing effect of different sorts of objects. The size of football is 22 centimeter. The red blood cell is 7 micrometer. The virus is 150 nanometer. Our human hair is 80 micrometer. Jet and woo in sunscreen lotion is 35 nanometer. And strand of DNA is 2 nanometer. The techniques used for the preparation of nanomaterials co-precipitation, sol gel, physical deposition, chemical vapor deposition, dip coating, spin coating and doctor blading method. Here I have chosen sol gel method for discussion since it is one of the well established synthetic approaches to prepare metal oxide nanoparticles. Let us observe what is sol gel process. A sol gel is a process where a transition takes place from liquid state to gel state through hydrolysis and polycondensation reactions. Transformation from solution to sol and into gel is depicted here. What is solution? Solution, a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances is solution. Here are some examples, sugar in water, carbon dioxide in soda. Let us see about sol, a small solid particles dispersed in liquid is called sol. It is a liquid state of colloidal solution. It is microscopic in nature, does not have definite structure and has low viscosity. Here are few instances, blood, paint, ink. The precise detail of gel, the solid or semi-solid cell of colloidal solution is gel. Its size varies from micrometer to nanometer. It has three-dimensional structure and has high viscosity. Gelatin, butter, jelly are few examples. Different steps involved in sol gel method are given in the following chronological order. Hydrolysis, polycondensation, gelation, aging, drying, and crystallization. First step, preparation of solution. A solution is prepared by mixing the metal alkoxide with water or alcohol. Next step, attainment of sol from solution through hydrolysis. It is conversion of solution into sol. During hydrolysis, chemical compounds are broken apart by the addition of water. Due to this, Metal alkoxide groups generate metal hydroxides. Step 3. Formation of the gel from sol through polycondensation. Colloidal gel is formed from the sol when small molecules like water, alcohol are removed through polycondensation. Gelation. It is the formation of the gel from sol. Aging. It is a process through which polycondensation reaction prolongs with time till complete the formation of the gel network. As the consequences, metal hydroxide species lead to metal oxides with the release of water. This transformation is called sol gel transition. Next, drying. During drying, the gel is heated at specified temperature. That is why the water and other liquids within the pores of the gel structure are removed. Two types involved in drying, aerogel and exerogel. Let us see what is aerogel. If drying is performed under supercritical conditions, it prevents collapsing of the gel network resulting in 
the formation of low density structure called aerogel. On the other hand, if the gel is dried by evaporation, then the capillary force will result in shrinkage, the gel network will collapse and a high density serogel is formed. Eventually, the last step, crystallization. If the gel is sintered at high temperature, complete collapse of the gel into crystalline nanopowder is formed. Let us look into the experimental session. I have chosen zinc oxide nanoparticles since it is emerged as a promising material in all the fields of science and has a versatile real time application in day to day life. The scope of our study is synthesize the zinc oxide nanoparticles by using Solgel method. The required apparatus and chemicals are magnetic stirrer, weighing balance, beaker, zinc acetate dihydride, sodium hydroxide, ethanol, distilled water, filter paper and muffle furnace. Now look at the flow chart on the screen which describes the synthesis procedure of zinc oxide nanoparticles by Solgel method. Hello everyone, I am Selva Kumar, working as a research scholar, Department of Physics, Coimbatore Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. Uh, now I would like to demonstrate how to prepare Jetano nanoparticles using Sol gel technique. Take a beaker, add 1 gram of zinc acetate dihydride, and pour 15 ml of distilled water inside the beaker. Now switch on the magnetic stirrer. Stir the mixture constantly for 5 minutes and allow to form zinc acetate dihydride solution. This is zinc acetate dihydrate solution. Now, take second beaker. Add 5 gram of sodium hydroxide. and pour 10 ml of distilled water inside the beaker. Stir the mixture constantly for 5 minutes. Leave it to produce sodium hydroxide solution. Take the last beaker Add both the solutions inside the beaker. Mix well and stir it for 5 minutes. Now, the salt is obtained from solution. This is the salt. The stirring is carried out by using magnetic stirrer followed by 10 ml of ethanol is added drop wise.
After the chemical reaction, leave the mixture without disturbing for 10 minutes. A white precipitate is settled down at the bottom of the beaker by condensation process. It contains both zinc hydroxide and sodium acetate. The sodium acetate is filtered by means of washing repeatedly with water. Now the precipitate zinc hydroxide colloid named gel is formed. When the gel is heated at 350 degrees Celsius for an hour in a muffled furnace, a high purity zinc oxide nanopowder is obtained as an outcome. This is the schematic representation of preparation of zinc oxide nanoparticles which we have demonstrated already. The following are the inferences obtained from the experiment. It comprises of two processes. Process 1 hydrolysis. A complete hydrolysis of zinc acetate is taking place with the addition of sodium hydroxide in an ethanolic solution forming zinc hydroxide and sodium acetate ions. The chemical reaction of hydrolysis process is as follows. By condensation, zinc hydroxide is transformed into zinc oxide nanoparticles when heated at high temperature for a stipulated time. The chemical reaction of condensation process is as follows. High purity nanopowder has been obtained successfully by sol gel technique. Let us look into the advantages. It is simple and economic method. It can be conducted at low temperature. It is easy to manufacture the nanoparticles in different sizes as bulk, thin films and nanopowders. Moving on to the application of zinc oxide nanoparticles. It is used in the field of anti-cancer, antibacterial, anti-diabetic and drug delivery. It is highly luminescent. It is used in sunscreen lotion. It is acting as a fire retardant, water repellent and so on. Moving forward to the conclusion, the zinc oxide nanoparticles are successfully prepared by sol gel method. Let us ponder on the questions given below. What are nanoparticles? Any particles in size in between 1 to 100 nanometers. How are zinc oxide nanoparticles used in cosmetics? It is used as a sunscreen lotion. Mention the role of zinc oxide nanoparticle in medicine. It is used in antibacterial, anti-cancer and drug delivery. However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Nothing is to be feared, only to be understood. Hope I have ignited the young brains with soldier method. Thank you.